President Obama, traveling in East Africa today, blasted the critics of his nuclear agreement with Iran, saying that some of the candidates running for the Republican nomination aren't fit to lead the country. Here's Nancy Cordes. The American people deserve better. Certainly presidential debates deserve better. The president was talking about new comments made by former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, who likened Mr. Obama's nuclear deal with Iran to the Holocaust. He would take the Israelis and basically march them to the door of the oven. Maybe this is just an effort to uh, push Mr. Trump uh, out of the headlines. But it's not the kind of leadership that is needed for America right now. Finally, I can attack. <laughs> Trump has shown his GOP rivals that bombast can get rewarded. A new CNN ORC poll shows him leading nationwide in a survey taken after he said this about John McCain. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Now some are following Trump's lead. He is not telling you the truth. On Friday, Texas Senator Ted Cruz stunned his colleagues with an attention-grabbing tirade against the Senate's Republican leader over a piece of legislation. I cannot believe he would tell a flat-out lie. Party leaders, including Utah's Orrin Hatch, rebuked him. Squabbling and sanctimony may be tolerated in other venues or perhaps on the campaign trail, but they have no place among colleagues in the United States Senate. Part of the challenge is that these 16 Republican candidates make up the largest primary field in modern history. They are all trying to stand out, Scott, especially because only the top 10 in the polls will make it into the first GOP debate next week in Cleveland. And about six months before the first voting in Iowa. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nance, thanks very much.